what yeah. you see from 55 and 78 that makes them as good as they are. Yeah, man, they're they're two tier. Michigan, man, they're stout. You know, one of the best they're going to be going against um, technique and like playing wise. Like you can tell just from watching feel how much they like they put pressure on the QB and stuff. And it's up to us, the O line, mainly the three interior. Um, me, Marcus, and the shot to you know stop and put on a game with them and just do it, play our ball. How important is it for you to kind of keep focused with the crowd noise when the defensive line is pretty quick off the ball and just trying to get that snap back and make control that stuff is in my hands? Well, yeah, it's important because obviously the play don't start with, without the ball, so I'm the first one that's touching the ball and getting it to Dylan. So it's really important, especially with the crowd noise. Um, obviously, it's gonna be my first, this is gonna be my first time going to Michigan. I know it's for a lot of guys too with this crowd noise being 100,000 people, which I've never played in front of before. But we've been practicing and instilling some stuff to co cooperate and to um, put into the game. And when we, when the time comes, we're gonna um, execute what we gotta do. Well, you practice with silent count a lot, but I don't know how many how much in games you've really had to do it, other than maybe early at Oregon State, perhaps. But how much have you had to? on the road games rely on a silent count so far? Uh, so far, we didn't have to rely on the silent count that much because everywhere we went to, you know, obviously we did what we were supposed to do and we did our job and kind of like signing the crowd right there. But just looking at Michigan and seeing like film, watching other teams, like offensive-wise and center and QB exchange, you can see them doing silent, silent cadence. But I know if we do our job, we're, we're going to be able to sign it back and just play our regular ball game. I guess how important that is just to get to a fast start, like you said, mm -hmm. kind of quiet them. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's really important. Like you talk about it, like if we can go over there, start fast, um, both sides of the ball, whether whoever starts, you know, offense or defense, if you go over there and start fast and just tempo them and do what we're supposed to do. Like, you know, what do you see from zero off the edge? Just what makes him a dynamic player for them on defense, and how you have to go about identifying him this week? Um, zero, uh, you can see like um, tackle. They talk to me a lot. Like, that dude is pretty fast. He's pretty quick. And how he's versatile and what he does. So he's another dude that you got to keep an eye look out to. In terms of their run defense, the whole time their interior guys are zero off the edge, but it's not just about pass rush. Oh, yeah. What's their front seven able to do collectively to, to stop the run and when you guys like to establish this? Uh, you can see, like, they're two interior, like I said, they're very style, especially on um, seven, eight, with him being a big dude in the middle. He kind of takes on, like, two blocks and with three five, kind of like slipping through and making tackles when the guys as offensive line use, like, poor technique. That's what they really take advantage of. Like, if you don't have the right technique, they're going to take advantage and um, show what they do. Your shot yesterday was kind of talking about this could be an opportunity to raise draft stock or get a little bit of attention just because of the guys you're going against. Do you think about that at all going into a game like this? or? Uh, yeah, man. I, mean, I wasn't really thinking about it until, like, Nashad didn't talk about it. Like you said, he was talking about it yesterday. We kind of talked about it. Um, it's pretty big. Obviously, we're going to get, like, two first-rounders. We can see two stout defensive alignments. So we know that if we do and we play the way we're supposed to play, then we'll bump ours as well. Thanks, Appreciate it.